All right, so you a breast man or a leg man? Guys, it doesn't really matter. I'm just messing with y'all. Today, we're gonna be doing some smoked bone-in breasts on our wood fire grill. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna do a barbecue style, right? And uh, I have done a breast video, a boneless, skinless breast video uh, on the wood fire. So we'll throw the link up there for it. You know, check it out. But with this one, uh, I found some uh, bone-in, skin-on breasts that are a little bit more cost-effective. They're a little cheaper than buying the, the boneless, skinless breasts. And so I wanted to give you guys an option so you can see how to do those on the wood fire grill. But basically, it just comes down to cooking to internal temperatures, which is what we're going to do with these. We're going to throw our Temp Spike Plus in there. I know I have the wood fire XL Pro Connect uh, thing with its own temperature probes, but I tend to trust my Thermo Pro products. So uh, if you would like to also, I'll throw a link down below. Using my code will save you a little bit of cash, and that's always important these days, all right? But before we get started on anything, let me thank this week's sponsor, BetterHelp, but more on them later. So what did we do to get to this point? Took the chicken breast out of the package, trimmed up any little fat on there, nothing crazy, any of those scraggly bits. And then I just seasoned them up with a little barbecue rub. I'm using Fire and Smoke's classic barbecue rub. Uh, great flavor, great pepper in it. It's gonna work amazing with these chicken breasts, add great flavor to it. And then we're gonna actually use Fire and Smoke's barbecue sauce too uh, when we get ready to you know, put the barbecue sauce on, all right? So those chicken breasts are just chilling, letting all that seasoning kind of penetrate in there, sweat down a little bit. Now we're gonna be out here uh, getting our wood fire set up. We're gonna use some smoking pecan pellets. Guys, I really dig these pellets. I know you've seen me use them on the channel before. They're made of pecan shells, not actual wood. So I find they give a great flavor. They smoke a little bit longer in the wood fire grill. If you guys want to get some, again, I'll throw a link down below. If you do buy them, you know, throw in the notes section that CJ sent you. Let them know that, you know, I'm helping out their small business. This isn't sponsored or anything like that. Um, I just really love that team over there. A great family owned, you know, uh, business. So, you know, I always like helping out small business, right? Right. We're going to set the wood fire up to 325 and I'll put the Celsius in front of me here real, real quick. I find that I like to go a little hot and fast with the chicken, all right, oh, more so than like uh, doing a low and slow with brisket or pulled pork or anything like that. So we're going to take those up to an internal temperature about 150. Now, once we hit that 150, we're going to baste it down with a little of that barbecue sauce and then we're going to turn the grill setting on and then grill off the top so we can crisp up and caramelize that skin and that uh, barbecue sauce we're gonna put on there just adds a different dimension of flavor and texture to it that you're gonna love doing all that will take the temperature to about 160 or so and then we'll take them off let them rest it'll take you to the 165 where you want to be and we'll have very juicy tender lovely flavored breasts before we get this thing fired up i do want to mention that i have four e-cookbooks that have a bunch of recipes for the wood fire grill if you want to check it out, there's going to be a link down below for it. They're $5 a piece, or if you buy the bundle for all four, it'll save you five bucks. It's $15, okay? And the other thing I just came out with this week is a wood fire journal. Now, this is a paperback journal that you can get off of Amazon by clicking the link down below. This is going to give you an opportunity to write down all the steps of your cooks that you do. Not necessarily, you know, my recipes, but if you use my recipes and something don't quite work because your temperature's off or your humidity's off or your elevation's off or whatever, you can use the journal to mark down what you like, what worked, what didn't work, even your individual cooks. So this is a paperback little journal that you can get off of Amazon. It's another way to help improve your cooks and it's another way to help out the channel. Right? Right. Okay. Nothing left to do but get this bad boy fired up. Guys, I think you're going to love this one. Trust me on that. All right, team, we got our grill grate in there. I'm gonna turn on our wood fire. Hello. We are gonna use the smoker mode. Change that temp to 325. There you go. The default time on there is three hours. It's not gonna take that much time at all, but I'm not gonna mess with it. We're going by temperature, right? We got our temp spike here, right? We're gonna go by that. So let's hit start. Let it go through that ignition process and we'll add them breasts on. While we're waiting for that wood fire to fire up, right, I want to thank this week's sponsor, BetterHelp. They've been a great channel partner over the years here. Guys, I have a real problem with focus in my life right now. I have a lot of irons in the fire. We've got plenty of kids, wife, uh, influencing videos, all that stuff. So I'm glad I have access to BetterHelp. Listen, 
finding a therapist in this day and age is very hard. All right, you get to Google, you find someone, you hope they work out for you. You know, BetterHelp has an easier way. All you do is fill out a simple questionnaire and then they match you up with a licensed therapist. All right, you can find someone that you're comfortable with and if it don't quite work out with them, you can find someone else to work with, okay? BetterHelp is a easier and more affordable way of finding therapy in your life. So you could be like me and if you use it for focus, have someone to talk to you, have you lay out your priorities, all that good stuff. Or if you're having a hard time, a little sad, something like that, that's good too. BetterHelp matches you with a licensed therapist that you can help you get through what you need to get through. Right, right. So guys, mental health is very important, like I always said. So if you'd like to give BetterHelp a try, guys, hit that link in my video description. It's betterhelp.com slash cooking with CJ, right? It'll save you 10% on your first month's therapy journey. There's really no reason not to give it a try. So thanks to BetterHelp for being such a great channel partner of the years. And uh, guys, let's get back to that cookie. That chicken's about ready to get on. I love it. Love All right, y'all, you can see that smoke rolling. Let's go ahead and get these chickens on. Woo, smoky. All right, number one, got Big Bertha here in the middle. This last one on. Look at them beautiful birdie parts. Let's give them a smoke bath. We're taking it to 150, 155 internal. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, we are temping out at 150. We'll get you in close on these beautiful birdie parts. All right, guys, those are looking too good. Let's take them off. We'll brush them down with a little of that barbecue sauce and then fire up the grill. Let's go. Whew. Chickens off and put them on the tray over here. Oh, those are looking gorgeous. Gorgeous. What we're gonna do is shut this down. Go ahead and just turn it off. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Sorry, couldn't help myself. All right, turn it back on. Grill setting. It starts out on low, so get the high, hit start. All right, let it go through that preheating process. While we're doing that, let's uh, brush down these chickens with a little of that barbecue sauce. All right, we're going over a little Old Town Original Barbecue by Fire and Smoke. All right, we're gonna get these things completely sauced up. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit on each birdie part. That little try. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Sweet. Got a little bit of spice. Oh, yeah, babe. Mmm. All right. Get it nice and painted on. And then we throw these back on the grill. It'll uh, caramelize this barbecue sauce. Give it a sear. Give it a little bit of char. Right? And then after that's done, maybe we'll brush a little bit more on. I told y'all before, I'm not a saucy kind of guy, so we'll see how we feel after uh, after they're grilled off. Those are looking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Y'all, those are looking way too good. Just wait till we get a little bit of char on them. Mm. Let's get them chickens grilling. Ah, wrong side. <laughs> All right. While we got them flipped over, add a little bit more sauce. And it's okay if someone gets on your grill. It's non-stick. Don't stress it. Y'all know that is some good looking birdie parts right there. Nice and glazed up, got some char on there. Ooh, those are looking too good, perfectly cooked. Let's get them off and get them on a cutting board. We've given these plenty of time to rest. Go ahead, slice off a piece from the rib cage. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but <laughs> I uh, did not do it that way. But you can see how beautiful, moist, and juicy it is on the inside right there, all right? We'll just cut some little slices off. That awesome barbecue chicken. Got it nice and caramelized. Oh yeah, those are looking too dang good, boys and girls. So nice and juicy. 
beautiful color cooked all the way through you don't like to squeeze the meat too much but you can see it's beautifully cooked juicy as can be mm. all right let's give it a bite what do you say yeah we got a little piece of that chicken breast right here perfectly cooked juicy as can be nice caramelized charred skin on there let's get a bite mm. Mm -mm -mm. you know that's finger looking good baby mm -mm -mm. all right the chicken was perfect guys that's why we cooked the temperature right so we took it to 150 155 ish depending on which piece it was and then just fired up that grill to finish it off probably took it to 160 ish letting it rest takes it to 165 where you know usda recommends okay but these turned out perfect and i'm so dang happy with them okay so if you'd like to get one of those wood fire grills links down below all right, it's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you more to use it. Helps out your boy, right? Real quick, thanks to BetterHelp again for being a great channel partner and sponsor. All right, check them out and use my link down below. If you'd like to become a show producer like all these awesome people scrolling in front of me, guys, these are the people that help keep this train running. There are two ways to join up. Either you can hit the Patreon link in my video description, or you can hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.